Let's now bring you some updates about the tensions brewing between the United States and China. The U.S. has hit out at China's aggressive posturing in the South China Sea. A senior official at the U.S. State Department has linked China's state enterprises to Britain's colonial East India Company. David Stilwell, the Assistant Secretary for East Asia and Pacific Affairs, said that China's state enterprises are equivalent to modern-day East India Company. He also said that the issues in the South China Sea have a direct bearing on the future of the Arctic, the Indian Ocean, the Mediterranean and other strategically vital waterways. The U.S. has long called out Beijing's expansionist maritime policy and threatened retaliatory actions by saying that China only understands the language of demonstrative and tangible action. This statement from a top U.S. official came just a day after the United States called China's claims on the South, Chi South China Sea completely unlawful. This was the first time that the U.S. declared Chinese claims illegal. China has completely denounced this stance by the United States and Beijing has called the U.S.'s new position as unjustified. It has in turn accused Washington of trying to sabotage peace-building efforts in the region. The Chinese foreign ministry has said that the U.S.'s threat of sanctions was its latest attempt to stir up trouble. The Chinese Benchen. Ministry of Foreign Affairs also said that the U.S.'s arbitrary talks about sanctions was pathetic and that Beijing was not afraid of sanctions.